Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen 2. I was going to jump on that guard, but in the meantime I um, let him turn around. I can probably grab him and chop his head off though, that'd be fun if I can do that. Um, bit, uh, bit overconfident there. Bodies were found downstairs. The intruder is near. I want you to patrol the courtyard. Yes, sir. I'll guard the cell. Move out. Oh, that's bad. That was so amateur there. I'm there. I don't really have much health to um, piss away like that. And I don't think I'll be able to sneak up on this guy either. So where's the second one? I'm sure I saw two of them. Am I just going mad? No, there he is. You already know that jumping from them jumping on them from the front doesn't work though. Expect it to work. Never does. The um, grab people seems to take the lowest priority of all the attacks, so if someone else is doing anything, it never seems to work. Right, now I'm going to kill the boss before I open the door, and just in case someone decides to run out of me. Big thick swords can chop people's heads off as well, I think. This one I've got is uh, done with anyway. dare attempt to rescue me. You are either brave or foolish. You will find me relentless. <laughs> there must be a glyph nearby that powers the ward. Find it and, and shut it down. What was it that you learned in the industrial quarter? Tell me in case I cannot free you. Tell you now before I am freed? What would you do in my place, Kate? I would offer my rescuer a token of trust. That information is for Borador only. Haven't I earned your confidence yet? You have not rescued me yet. Very well. I will return shortly. Hmm. 
We can turn one off from the outside, but I don't know how we then get in here. Like, I assume where the, this switch goes left. I assume that would turn one of the gate to go, uh, one of those two walls off. Perhaps I should get someone alive and possess them and come back. appears this game is not as linear as I remember. Either that or I'm really stupid and miss something inside. No, that's pretty solid. Can I move a statue or something? Yes I can. Okay, so that lets us turn at least one of the walls off, I guess. I've already done that one. No, because I need it on the right hand side. Oh, that double thickness was only one switch, was it? You're hurt. It's nothing. We must get to the roof. Once I am outside these ensorcelled walls, I can use a spell to transport us back to Sanctuary. No! At last! What living soul disturbs my order? What creature dares shed the blood of my servants? He had the sword. Soul Reaver, the prize I had won a lifetime ago, was in his foul possession. What is this? You know me. No. You were utterly destroyed. So easily. Your name was drowned in the backwaters of passing time. All your plans were set alight and seared to smoke and ashes. Let those words be your epitaph. You dare dream of killing me? That fantasy was quenched in blood long ago when I defeated you. And yet, you have learned nothing. Such a pathetic creature. Dare you to challenge me again? Die, fiend! No, again! Your death is fated at my hands. How many times must I teach you that lesson? He is too strong for you, Cain. With the Soul Reaver, he can kill us both. We must flee and fight him when we are stronger. No. Release me. That demon of filth is mine. I am your fate, Cain. Now and forever. However long you delay, you will come to me for your end. Uma, alive and safe. Cain, you have all our thanks. I can follow orders when it suits me. We met the Saraphan Lord. He showed himself? He is a touch more powerful than I expected. And he has the soul, Reaver. Strange that you did not tell me this at the first. You are not ready to fight the Seraphan Lord, I told you that. It was only by good fortune that we escaped. Vorador, I must speak with you. You have information for us, I know. You may speak. I was in the heart of the main factory in the industrial quarter. Before the guards discovered me, I had found a huge central chamber that housed some kind of magic portal. This portal looked into a place the likes of which 
I had never seen before, and this portal was held open by a single source of magic, a stone set on a pedestal. Borador, I believe it was the Nexus Stone. The Nexus Stone? Of course. What is this thing? Explain. The Nexus Stone is an item of great power. It can bend time and space to create doorways to any location within Nazgat. I know not why the Seraphan Lord would be using it within the Industrial Quarter, but we could put it to great use. And what use is that? One who wears the stone cannot be harmed by the Soul Reaver. And is this but a legend, to be proved false at the fatal moment? Oh no, no legend at all. It has been proven. The Seraphan Lord wore the stone when he defeated you 200 years ago. What? How else could he have resisted the power of the Soul Reaver? You were unable to use the sword's power, and without it, he was able to defeat you. Then I shall take the stone and use it to kill him. But know this, when I recover it, I will also claim ownership of it. I trust that is understood. Then you commit yourself to fighting the Seraphan Lord? There can be no turning back. I was committed to that from the moment you revived me. Nothing will turn me away. So be it. You must use the subway to reach the industrial quarter, which lies in the northeastern part of the city. Find your way past the gate that blocks the townspeople from entering. But perhaps we may leave that to your invention. Uma? Once in the quarter, look for the main factory complex. It is there that the stone is held. I will return with the Nexus Stone and the Seraphan Lord's head. I left the relative safety of Sanctuary and ventured once more into the night. The industrial quarter of Meridian was, I discovered, a heavily guarded fortress. Rather than assault it directly, I stole into the workers' commons and began my quest for the Nexus Stone there. Okay, well, that Seraphan Lord is a cheating bastard. We'll have to chop his head off. And with that, on that bombshell, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.